Kansas Farm Bureau, the voice of agriculture. To join today or for more information, go to kfb.org or find us on Facebook and Twitter. Hello and welcome to Horsin' Around. I'm Dr. Chris Blevins at Kansas State University Veterinary Health Center today with Dr. Beth Davis. Welcome. Thank you. Dr. Davis is a professor and a section head here in equine uh, at Kansas State University Veterinary Health Center. And today we're going to talk about something fairly exciting for here in the equine section and that's a CT table for horses. What is a CT table for horses? Because <laughs> some people will be like, well, you know, it looks kind of neat. They might recognize it in their own hospital. But. Right. Yep. Yeah, that's a great question. And so um, we think about CT and advanced imaging capabilities and most of the instruments that are available are designed for people, understandably. So it's easy to adapt those instruments for use in small animal patients. But when we work with our equine patients, unfortunately, we can be a little bit limited. And so um, we're very fortunate that there is an equine CT table available. So mm -hmm. we recently acquired ours. And so it's right behind us and it is adapted to the small animal table, but it fits over it and it allows us to get the same kind of images that we could get if we were looking at a person or a small animal patient. In which it, this is a big thing and some people may not know about that aspect until you actually have potentially a horse that maybe would need to be used for it and what kind of things could a horse get imaged for on this CT table? Yeah, it's a, that's a good point as well and so we think about it for things that we might start with radiographs or conventionally we may have taken x-rays um, but it allows us to get really nice images of the head of dental structures mm. horses that have sinus disease um, but we can also look at limbs so at extremities so we wow. can look at the lower limb we can get on the front leg up to the carpus or the mm. knee as some horse owners call it um, or up to the hock on the back leg so really good for distal extremities as well and the amount of detail that they get from this is just phenomenal. I think from an imaging, diagnostic, and potentially doing other treatments using CT, what uh, would be, I guess, some images that they could get or extrapolate from using this type of table? Yeah, so the imaging, the quality is incredible. Um, this is a 16 slice CT, so we can get really finite detail on the structures. The other capability is that we can do what's called 3D reconstruction. So we can take what would normally look like a 2D image mm. and actually put all of the images that have been collected together to get 3D imaging. So essentially to make a model of the patient that we're looking at. And what that allows us to do is then to go in and perform different procedures or therapies, maybe an injection, maybe a, a repair of a fracture. Um, and this ability to image with this machine allows us to do that at a much higher level. Higher quality medicine, better thing for the, for the patient themselves and, and for that client. Uh, this table wasn't inexpensive by no means. And I guess some people don't realize the aspects of, well, we just bought it. Well, what did the vet school or veterinary health center have to do to, to get this table? Right, it, it was a team effort for sure. So we are very fortunate um, to have support from the hospital, from the College of Veterinary Medicine, but also from horse owners and mm. horse enthusiasts in the state of Kansas. And so we had a group of people um, approximately two years ago that helped us put together a fundraiser. And that fundraising event, we are so appreciative of all the people that helped us with that because that's in large part what allowed us to get this equine CT table. It was a huge effort and a huge success. Well, I, we sure appreciate all the support from, from everybody around, that is for sure. And, and so, Owners might say, hey, I think my horse may need to use this table, or maybe it would, maybe it wouldn't, and come through a referral or even come in here at the hospital. How would that all entail as far as if a horse needed to use a CT table? Right, exactly. So we want to start at square one. So starting usually 
with either your veterinarian at home or coming to the vet school and having your horse evaluated, determining what sort of testing needs to be performed, and then decide whether or not a CT is appropriate. But absolutely, we welcome the opportunity to work with veterinarians and horse owners throughout the state um, to provide them with advanced imaging that we now have. That is great. Well, if they ever want to know more information about the CT table or Dr. Davis or myself or anything here at the Veterinary Health Center, you can sure go to our website at www.vets.k-state.edu and go to the Veterinary Health Center and they can learn more information about all this uh, information and great diagnostics we have here at the vet school. I'm Dr. Chris Blevins with Horsin' Around and we'll see you around. No matter where, no matter why, the Veterinary Health Center at Kansas State University is committed to providing quality patient care to animals and exceptional customer service to their owners. From routine checkups to emergency and specialty care, our world-renowned specialists and experienced professionals are here to discover, to teach, and to heal. Let us know. How can I help? How can we help?